I think consciousness is happening in the brain, in the microtubules, but at the level of fundamental space-time geometry. Now, when the blood stops flowing and the oxygen stops being delivered, the quantum coherence, uh, the membrane physiology uh, goes first, and eventually the microtubule coherence is lost. The conscious information, quantum information and memory in, encoded in microtubules, encoded in the, in the Planck scale geometry of the microtubules, isn't necessarily lost, but can dissipate to the universe at large, become non-local, remaining in Planck scale geometry or, or, or some level of the universe, but remain entangled as a unit, as, as, unit, as a quantum soul, if you will by entanglement. So I think, I don't argue that this occurs. I don't have definite evidence, although there's a lot of interesting effects now at end of life brain activity with high coherent gamma bursts and that sort of thing. Why would that be possible evidence for such an extreme position that you've just said? It would pave the way to consciousness leaving the brain and going to the universe. I think that it doesn't prove it, you're right. But I think it's feasible, it's possible that consciousness exists in Planck scale geometry in the universe at large and when and it's possible that it remains entangled as a quantum soul. I don't think we can rule it out until we understand consciousness in the brain. 